Hello, Gloria here. We're going to create a little bit today, uh, participating in Roxy's weekly challenge, week four, to make a hinged or floating uh, pocket. Um, I kind of was playing around first to kind of see where I was going with, with my 12 by 12 papers. So um, I got two, two hinged little pockets and like a tag perhaps out of one sheet. So I'm just going to double check what I measured these at to fit into my journal so I'm cutting my um, paper at nine nine by eight and then that way I have a narrow enough pocket that will be um, almost four inches to go into a journal so I could probably go a little bit bigger so maybe I'll do this one at ten by by nine uh, just to see <clears throat> How, how that one looks because I that one was a different size and it's nice to have different sizes so so I said 10 inches by 9 inches I'm really enjoying these um, challenges from Roxy so that kind of I think will give me one large pocket um, I just want to see something here. So this is the 10 inch side. So yeah, so that's the side I want. Yep, that works good. So I'm going to do that one that size. I'm going to do this one. I'm going to do this one the nine by eight. And I'm just going to use designer series paper for this. Um, I have enough of it. So that one will be a nine by eight, and then this one will be a four by nine. So then we'll get two pockets out of that. So we'll just cut up a few here. And put that edge over there. So I think I'm gonna do this one a little bit larger too. Sometimes you like a, something large like this to kind of cover the white of a page if you don't have like this has nothing printed on the back. And if that was in a journal, then that, that's kind of like um, blank space. So it's kind of nice to have something large that you can put in your journal that will cover it. So then that one is another one of the larger ones here. So I'll just cut these up quick. by nine these are um, cheaper designer series paper that I had just picked up wherever it's uh, not like a real thick cardstock I'm gonna do this one a 10 by 9 too actually no I'm gonna do this one 10 by eight and a quarter and then I can get a little one out of it too. And this one I'll do it at, oh, let's just do nine and a half. Um, by nine and a half. Let's see what that gives us. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna do these all up quick and then we will uh, fold and glue. These um, are very quick to make up. So I'm going to do that one 10. And I'm going to do it by 9. So it's um, a little bit like 4 and a half once I fold it into the journal. And all these pieces that are cut off, like you can use, um, put them in your scrap bin or you can use them to decorate with collage or even make uh, tags for the nicer edged ones. So one more here to cut. Well, this one is double-sided. Hmm, what side do I like better? Well, we'll just cut it and we'll figure it out after. So I'm gonna do this one, not that way. I'm gonna do this one. Do I want the paper? I think I want it to go this way. So I'm gonna do this one um, 10. And I'm gonna do it by nine. Actually eight and three quarters. And then I have a smaller piece. So 
that's it for our cutter. I'll just use this for my gluing because we all know I get glue everywhere. Okay, so Roxy just um, took them and randomly folded. So this is like the hinge. Now you could make it a very narrow hinge. So then let me get a piece of coffee dyed paper here. So when you would put this on your page, whichever side your hinge was on, um, this is directional paper, so this side is up. So then it would go on the inside of that, like that. So you could um, put a little notch here around the corners when you glue it down on the page, which you can see my folding is not very straight <laughs> on that one. I'll have to fix it. Um, and then this would swing open, and this would be glued down, and this would be a pocket. So we will do one to show you. And the same with this one from the same paper. Um, the hinge is on the same side, but I think this one I could flip it. Um, and then the pocket would be on this side and you could put it near the bottom or in the middle. And the same thing, we would just glue it uh, here and here. And then when it would flip open and you'd have a little pocket. And on this side, you could do it as a tuck spot. Now you could also make a very narrow hinge. So it just hinged onto the paper and you could put lace over it, a decorative edge uh, to cover that little flap. So we're gonna go from there. So this one, I just wanna show, I'm using this one and this one in my bunny journal. So I have two different sizes here. Um, I just wanna show quickly, just a sneak peek of the My Porch prints. Oh, I just, I so like this paper. I'm gonna zoom in a bit. It's so cute. So this is the, the digital I printed off um, from my porch prints to make the journal. I think it's just so beautiful. She does a beautiful job. And then there's some little cutouts at the back and a little pocket was included and also um, some envelopes. So we'll go through this when I start the journal, but I just wanted to show you why uh, these two for the color I kind of wanted them in this journal and I think I may even distress the front of this pocket a bit with like splatters and we'll see how it goes so I think I would like there to be a tuck spot on the opposite side of the page so I'm just gonna fold and if I could fold straight that would be you know kind of ideal <laughs> so you fold that part over and then you just fold this part over this is like not too difficult. I love this challenge from Roxy and it, it, it makes like a really awesome uh, little piece of ephemera. So this would be the pocket. So a nice tall tag could fit in that one. So I'm just gonna do all the folding first. And I do think on this journal, I want to make um, a tuck spot on the opposite side. So I'm gonna leave a bit more space on this side so it could flip over on the page. And there's those two. We'll just do a couple more, get them all folded, and then I think I will go this way, and I have paper here to help me line it up on this one. The lines, that's nice. Kinda wish I had that on all of them. I think this one I'm gonna do like a narrower hinge so it just fits on the other side of the page and because it is decorative um, paper even when it is on the opposite side of the page it will look nice so let's just fold that over still not 100% straight but So there's one with a narrow hinge. So this one is too tall. So I'm probably gonna have to cut it down. I wasn't thinking. My papers are usually eight and a half by 11, but you can see here, see how that's a narrow hinge on the paper? And that looks quite nice, doesn't it? Like it's not, uh, like it's ugly. And then when you would flip over, um, you have this part here and then you open it and you can have a pocket. You could even put like a, you could even write on this with a black felt tip marker uh, for journaling. So I think I'm going to have to cut this down though to eight and a half. I should have thought of that. Nothing should be taller than eight and a half. So I'm going to do it at eight. 
and um, a quarter there. So that will fit a little bit nicer on the page. And the pocket's not going to exceed the page. But see how that covers a majority part, a ma the majority of that paper, which is kind of nice if it was a white space. So anyway, we'll just keep folding here, get her done. So I can tell this one too is a little bit too tall, but I do sometimes make a taller journal. Like one of my woodland journals is quite tall. So. I think this one is a pretty paper too. And you can even do it with a smaller one to have a smaller pocket. So the weather up here, we are like near North Bay, Ontario, which is not like super north, but it's north. We're not in North Bay, we're outside of it, but um, the forecast for today is extreme weather, um, extreme temperatures tonight into tomorrow is going to feel like minus 43 degrees. And <laughs> we have snow squall warnings for today. So it was a snow day for the kids today. Um, yeah, and it's snowing right now. It's been snowing since I've gotten up, and it's around 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So, yeah. So the snow blowers will be out, and the tractor, and everything to shovel later on. Okay, so we got our pockets folded. So now we'll do a little bit of the gluing. I hope I'm in frame. Have I been going out of frame? So super easy, just one side and the other, and then you wouldn't fold. Um, actually, I'm just gonna use a couple sheets. It's a bit easier than the book. Oh, there, see, great. Off to a good start. So a little bit of glue down the side, as close to the edge as you can. That could have been better. And this is lightweight paper, so I don't need like ton of glue. There you go. And I kind of gave a little space so I could refold this, I guess. Um, I didn't like how that one looked. So I can just put a little piece of lace or something there to cover my seam. So there you go. So then I just need my punch. Yeah, so you then just cut out your notch for a pocket and you could cut out a notch here to show that it is um, going to be a tuck. So that will fit on the page like so on this side and then on this side it will flip out. Super cute, eh? She's so, some of these girls on YouTube are just so smart. They have such a creative brain. Okay, so we'll do this one. And because this paper is non-directional, you could put this pocket either this way or this way. So I think I'm gonna, oops, my apologies. I guess it doesn't really matter right now. It'll be more when uh, you attach it to the page that you could decide that. So let's just get them all glued and snipped and then maybe we will try to decorate one or two Roxy gives herself 40 minutes um, for this to make it a challenge. I don't, I haven't, I shouldn't say I don't, but, oh, I guess it does matter which way it goes before, because if you're gonna cut your notch, then that's the way it's gonna go, right? So which way did I do this one? I did this one so it's on the page and flips that way. So let's do this one. 
let's do like every other one go one way one go the other way and you could also just mass make these and not cut your notches just make your pockets have them ready to go and then when you're decorating a journal you could just grab one out decorate it cut your notches whichever where you needed it in your journal and go from there so that's kind of a cool idea too so this one's going to go this way so i'm going to do it first pretty paper too isn't it and I'm not gonna put a notch here because this is just gonna be like a hinge so there we go that one goes that way so this one will go this way everyone is uh, doing well and keeping warm <laughs> up here that is the key right now stay warm and I think this could be a little bit of a tuck so we'll just put a small thumb hole and I do believe this one's too tall gonna cut it down before I glue it. I think I'll just take an inch and a bit off. So then I know it will fit in the journal. Okay, so this one was on this side. Am I even in camera people? Yep. side that I glue down that'll help yeah so it has to go this way And I tried when I did this to pick kind of neutral papers. I know some of them are pink and green, but um, I just, I tried to make like a neutral paper. So you can use it in any journal. I'm just checking the size, they're too tall. But you know what, this could go on a book page, see that? So I am gonna leave a couple tall ones cause I do include like um, music paper and book pages in my journal. And then you could even put this on a page that has a print on it, like um, an image, and then you can flip it open and see the image. You can um, add journaling space here if you even wanted. A lot of paper uh, lends itself, um, even if it is a little on the darker side, if it's plain, you could just use a darker marker uh, as they journal. So I think that one's kind of cute. And then I got these two little ones here, so we'll just do those up nice and quick. So maybe we'll put this one this way and I'll flip open that way. Sounds good. And I try to put the glue on the side that um, is away from the hinge, just in case, like if I put it here, I might not have, see, I didn't get the paper as close and then you're gonna have glue there and no paper. And it's just a little, little tidbit of a hint that to save you wasting your glue and having to re-glue it. That one. And I'll do this one this way.
and I don't know if I'm going to do a notch on this one. I'm just going to leave it, and then when I um, go to use it, we can decide whether or not we want to put a notch on it. So that is how quick and easy it is to make these floating pockets. So let's have a look. See here. Excuse my mess. So we created one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then the one I did before, so that's 11, but that wasn't in the video, so we won't count that one. So a nice, quick, and easy project this week from Roxy. Thank you, Roxy. I'm looking forward to what she decides to do next week. But I wanted to decorate this one and the light pink one. And I have a feeling I may cut the light pink one down. Hmm. Actually, I'm not going to cut it down because I think I want to put it on a piece of music paper. And my music paper is quite long. So I kind of have an idea in mind. And this little one too. And I don't think there was a pink little one. So we'll just do those. So I printed off some images. I'm going to just say right now who they're from, because if I don't, I'll forget. So this is from the Graphics Fairy. Um, these are from my bunny journal, so I, I'm going to create those one. This one is from theartscavenger.com, a free printable collage sheet. This was a freebie as well from the Graphics Fairy. And I printed this one off. I just thought it was cute for in the little tuck spot, but I can't read who the like who it's from. So I apologize if I do use this. I don't know. I may have to go online and look at that one. And I had these in my Google Drive for how, I don't know how long. I printed some of those off too. I thought that they were cool because you can even make another pocket on the front of these pockets. So like even this one, um, if it was, let's say, a different paper, you could have just taken the extra and made a pocket and put it on top so you had a double pocket. So the ideas are endless. So let me just get rid of my garbage here. Sorry for the reach. Get my glue book. These are too sticky. So I said in my one of my other videos that I keep my glue pages, and I didn't really expand on that. Um, I'll just show you quick. I just fold them over to the gluey spots, and I stick them over to the side here. And I just keep them. And the reason I keep them is because I can use them to make ephemera. Like you can make a pocket out of that. You could back something with that to make it a little thicker. Um, you can make a belly band out of that. And I did do that in that video I showed last in my Woodland Journal. I was working on a belly band. And on the back of this ribbon is um, book page just to give it a little more strength and I just pop the glue up. I think I might use score tape on this because it's a shiny magazine page, but that is what I kind of do with my um, book pages that I keep. And I learned this on YouTube. It's not something that in my big creative mind, which it isn't. <laughs> um, I think I saw it on Gail Agostinelli. Um, she already knows I watch her like I, she's one of my favorites so anyway thank you Gail another wonderful tip so even with some of these um, cutoffs like this one we could make another pocket onto a pocket and you could do it on the inside of the flip or I could even like do it here kind of keeping with that swirly theme so I'm gonna put that piece there I don't think I oh I did have a piece of this too unfortunately that one's not double-sided but like on this one that is so if you use double-sided paper see you could do that now doesn't that look nice see so I will do that with that I will stick it in the pocket so the pieces are with each one. Oh, that one even has another piece so So if you couldn't finish it right away, you could just store it and you got your pieces there. When you go to create, you have everything you need. So 
let's get back to what we were doing. Now on this one, I don't think I want to use um, a pocket in the same, or do I? Or do I want to do it on the inside, on the flip? And then it's kind of like a little surprise, eh? And I use one of these bunnies. like the pink one there but maybe it's too much pink <laughs> sorry I'm just thinking anyway we're gonna cut out the pink one and the one with the, the top three how about we just do that I do they're all pink So I'm going to speed this up a little bit and play some music as I cut these out and decorate. And if I need to stop and say something, I will. Okay. Just so I'm not boring you. Oh, I do like that one for over there. 